ZP. Hi, I'm Veronica Gunn, Curriculum and Outcome Specialist at the California School for the Blind, and today we are going to configure JAWS settings for the Smarter Balance tests. I already have JAWS open, and so I'm going to navigate up to the Options menu. Leaving menus. And I'm going to go down to Braille. Voices submenu. Leaving menus. Braille basics. And from here, I'm going to select Advanced. Advanced dot 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 button. Default left pair in all applications. Right pair and dash JAWS. And then I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger rail. so that it's easier to see on your rail, screen. Rail. Rail, rail. Rail. I'm going to go ahead and go up to user. User closed. And I'm going to make sure characters and words is selected because I want my student to be able to know what they're typing by characters and words. Going back to the tree view side, I'm going to go ahead and expand text processing. And then I'm going to select number and date processing. Level one, number. And then I'm going to go in here and mark that checkbox for speak dollars. Number and date processing page, speak dollars checkbox checked. And then we go back to the tree view side and go down to Braille. And it's expanded to general. Tree view, general. And I want to make sure that the Braille code that I want is there for my input and output. So I have UEB grade two for my input and my output. And then still in general, I'm going to make sure that um, the three checkboxes on the left and the second one on the right is um, marked. So active cursor follows Braille display. Braille cursor follows active cursor. Display text in eight dot braille mode and enable word wrap. I want them all to be selected. I'm going to go down to braille marking still under braille on the tree view braille side. Marking closed. I want to make sure that the braille marking for highlight, bold, underline, italic, and strikeout are all marked. This is going to make it so the dot sevens and eight is raised on the braille display when the, your student comes across a bold word or an underlying word so that they know that that is indicated in that way. Um, there will not be like the braille indicator for bold or underlined on the braille display. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to advanced still under braille. Advanced, closed. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the placement of status cell cells is none. I don't want the status cells to be at the beginning of the braille display for them to have to skim over to get to um, the content of the test. And um, you can navigate down to the apply button if you made any changes and then click OK or navigate to the OK button. Dash dialogue. And that's it.